Hello survivors, today we're going to be talking about three things. What is geography? What do geographers do? And what tools do geographers use? So what is geography? A lot of people have probably got a general idea of what it is, but could they really define it? Let's break down the word geography to really understand what it means. So we see that there's a prefix geo and the suffix graphy. So geo means earth or of the earth, kind of like geocentric, which meant that the earth was the center of the universe. By the way, geocentrism was incorrect. We have other words like geology, the science of the earth, or even geometry, which means to measure the earth. And of course, the geo metro, the car I drove during college. Actually, that's how I remember geo means earth, because the geo logo has a little globe in it. I eventually upgraded to a Subaru Justy. And graphy means writing or the study of. We have words like cinematography, which is the study of film, photography, which is actually the study of light, typography, which is the study of type or font, biography, which is the study of a single person's story. So geography is of the earth studying of the earth. So it's the studying of the earth its features, its landforms, its climate, and even the people on it. So what do geographers study? Well, they study the Earth. They ask and try to answer big questions about the Earth. Like, how does where people live affect their life or their health? How do people change the Earth? What would it be like if there were 10 million people on Earth? Or how does globalization affect equality? Or what would happen in a zombie apocalypse? How would the earth change? How would people change? How would they interact with each other? So what tools do geographers use? Geographers use all sorts of tools to help them investigate these questions. They commonly use maps, globes, atlases, aerial photographs, satellite photographs, information graphics, and a computer system called GIS. I'll explain what those are right now. So a map, you seen them before, it's a flat representation of the Earth. Maps can show lots of different types of information, especially locations of places on Earth. And there are lots of different types of maps, but we'll get into that in another lesson. Now maps use projection. Projection is when you try to display a round object, like the world, on a flat surface, like a map. And that can cause some inaccuracies, so... Cartographers, who are people who make maps, have long struggled to figure out what the best type of projection is. Now an atlas is a book of maps. Some atlases have maps that cover an entire region, and sometimes they cover the entire world. So atlases can be really helpful, especially for traveling, whether you're on a ship or in a car, you've got a book of maps instead of trying to take a really, really large map. A globe is a round model of the Earth, and because it's round, it has accurate relationships in distance and size. Aerial photographs are photographs that are taken from the sky. And they can be used to take measurements, make observations, and inform cartography. Aerial photographs can be taken in quite a few different ways. You can take pictures from inside a plane, you can attach a camera to a balloon, or even a kite. Satellite photographs are kind of like aerial photographs, but they're taken from much higher. They're taken from outer space using satellites. These satellites can capture large areas, and even though they're really far away, they can actually zoom in pretty close. Information graphics are also called infographics. Geographers can take complex information and data and make visuals, making it easier to understand. Now one of the newest tools that geographers have been using is the computer system GIS, and that stands for Geographic Information Systems. GIS allows you to take all kinds of information from a database and layer it onto maps so that you can analyze how that information interacts with the real world. I hope you found this introduction to geography helpful and that you'll start to come up with ways that geography could actually help you in the zombie apocalypse. Remember, what we studied today was what is geography, what do geographers do, and what kinds of tools do geographers use.